Hey, YouTube. Um, I'm dying to make a video right now. I don't know why. I'm just bored to death. And I need some food for this week. So, I've had this thing in my uh, freezer for quite a long time. It's about time I made it. So I threw it in the fridge last night, so it's... Feels like it's thawed out alright. It's still a little icy, but I think we're alright. Feels, feels soft. So I've never cooked, like, one of these bad boys. Turkey breast, ribs back, portion, blanky blank. So it's just a bone-in turkey breast. I've never done one before, so... Nor have I ever done a turkey. So I'm just gonna wing it. I just found a basic recipe online. 325. Uh, it's degrees. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, down and watch me fumble through this. Better do this in the. F this is not the fridge. This is the sink. I don't have the tripod, so you guys have to bear with me when I try and set you up here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Come on. Hey, look at the sink shot. Careful with sharp knives. If you cut yourself, you're gonna have a bad time. Garbage. Garbage is full. Let's open this bad boy up. Here we go. I said something about a gravy packet in here too, so hot water. Yeah, it's a it's a little piece of turkey. Oh, delicious. Look at that. This must be some gravy packet was talking about. Look at that. Nice. Turkey juices, nice little sharp bones. I'm a little worried it might be freezer burned, but it looks alright. She's still frozen in the middle, so. Well, I'll have to thaw itself out in the oven. Oh, this is gravy packet. Add two cups water to drippings. Mix well. Heat to boil. Add contents of this gravy packet. Reheat to boiling. Stir so it's just nice gravy. It's interesting. Alright. Where can I pay for this? So, uh, it's not bad. Six and a half pounds for six and a half bucks. So pretty decent for some meat. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. A little meat with it, but hopefully it'll feed me all week. You don't want that thaw out. Right in the sink there. Take you on a trip here. Go to my computer. So this is kind of what I'm doing here. 
Heat oven, place turkeys, can set up on rack in large shallow roasting pan and certain with thermometers. They just want you to just straight cook it for an hour. And they got this other little mixture they're uh, brushing on. Then you remove the turkey. And they're making something else there. Oh, okay, so they're making some gravy, so. Alright, so it's pretty basic. Pretty much gonna follow that for the basic cooking. As for the seasonings and the flavors, I'll just kind of wing it. Throw some stuff together and figure out. Alright. And into the oven we're going. Thing I forgot to do, I was going to add a little bit of water to that. Keep her from drying out. so you can't see. It's always a good idea. Probably should have covered it with foil this first half hour, but yeah, it's fine. Here I just got some melted butter and chicken broth. Just gonna draw a up. Make a mess. Take a little temperature reading here, see where we're at. Hoping it's going to be about 125. Got my uh, AC thermometer from work. Sanitized it, don't worry. Mm, it is nice and cold in there still. Yeah, shut up. Still reading 78 degrees. So we got a ways to go. She was frozen there. Oh, 90. Yeah. We're gonna cover the foil this time. If I have any left. Yeah. Nothing too crazy.
gentle cover. Yeah, I'm gonna put her back in for a while longer. Eighty degrees, and it's pretty cold still. half hour see what she looks like. I think once I get to 125 I want to do the glaze I think. Bump up the uh, oven to 400 and then you basically cook it like that until the inside gets to 165. We'll see how that goes. Alright, and while the turkey cooks, uh, figure I'll just talk to everybody, let you know uh, updates and whatnot, what's going on. So, I'm bored, as you can see. Not a whole lot going on with the cars, so somebody asked, I think it was Scooby Baseball, asked me to do a video on working on the Ford. I assume, hello oh, dog. I assume you're talking about the uh, Fairlane. Yes, you. Well, I'm not working on the Fairlane right now. I haven't done anything to it yet, so I plan on working on that this coming year, actually. Kind of waiting on getting the truck paid off, which hopefully that will be the end of this month. So, I might start working on the Fairlane next year. But I got all these other little projects I want to get going too, you know. <clears throat> so the 53, next step is a distributor, so I don't know if you saw Pearson BA 350's video or you don't think he's actually posted one yet, but from today, but <clears throat> shows you how loose the distributor is in there, it's all worn out and whatnot, so I'm going to buy that distributor, it costs almost 300 bucks, so. but again, wait until the new year. Um, Cadillac. I've lost all faith in that. I don't trust it at all since last time I tried to fire it up, the heater wasn't working. Kind of need that around here in the middle of winter here. Get out of work at 2, 2 a.m. and you know the windows are all frosted over, so that wouldn't be too fun. <clears throat> so I'm not really driving that. Not too worried about it. Thinking about ripping all the fuel injection off and going carburetor on it if I can't figure out its issues. But, I don't know, we'll see. I'll work on that during the spring, probably. Uh, the Jeep changed the oil today, and it... Uh, I was hoping it would be ready to go get it smog, but it wouldn't start now, which is odd. She's never not started before, so... A little bummed out about that. I'm not sure what that is. I'm thinking it's going to be spark-related, but I'm not positive, so... I'll have to mess around with it and see what I can figure out. And... Is that it? I think that's about it. Obviously the Silverado, nothing wrong with that. It's a daily driver, so it keeps chugging along. Yeah, not a whole lot going on though, so... Let me know what you guys want to see in videos. Otherwise, I'm going to be posting up these big long ones just to get something up for now. To figure figure out what I want to do. This next year is going to be quite a bit different, I think. You know, getting the truck paid off and all that. So, hopefully buy some different video equipment and start playing around with this YouTube stuff a little bit more. But, yeah, other than that, I'll... Get back to the turkey. All right, there she is at 125 degrees. I stuck my AC uh, HVAC thermometer in there and measured her up. Uh, wasn't gonna make a video because I didn't think it was gonna be there yet, but here we are. So now I gotta make up that glaze, which I should have had done already. Timer off. So, not sure how this is gonna work. Do 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 do. What did I 
medicine, that, that, and sugar. Sugar. So I think it said something like a quarter cup of the mustard, hot mustard, which I'm making myself apparently. Half a cup of sugar. It's probably way more than I need for that, so I'll probably cut that in half actually. So first off, to Quarter and a half, so I'll go eighth and a quarter. Is that so? No idea how this mustard is gonna turn out. I don't guess. Yeah, that's about an eighth. I'm gonna put some sriracha in there, just a squirt. But it's still, yeah, you can see it. Make a mess, throw things all over. Definitely ain't no Cajun Dijon mustard, it tastes like. That's pretty tasty. Wild sauce. That'd be a good sauce for a sandwich. flavor to it. I'll leave it right where it's at. Then we'll put in some sugar, brown sugar. I think this is a Martha Stewart recipe or something. It's supposed to be for a whole turkey, but I kind of stole it. Might be a fail. Might be a fail video instead of a. Yeah, I never called it a cooking video. It's just a board video. All right, then we're gonna glaze this bad boy up. Not sure how much you're supposed to put on here. Supposed to bump this up to 400. Alright, so basically it's going to go up to 400 and then I'm going to put her in there and we're going to cook her for a little bit longer, another half hour to an hour or something like that. Basically until it gets to 165. I don't remember if I put another layer of glaze on it or not, but let's see what happens. And the first look of the glaze. Man, this, and that sure smells good. It smells of sugar. Oh yeah, it's... Glazing, just kind of cooking. Let's see what our temperature is. Take a little while to heat up. 20, 25, 30, 
35, yeah, shut up. 37, 39, 40. Oh, should slow them down, so. 60 yet. Forty-two. Kind of out of blues already. She's so blazing. Sure smells interesting. So we've got another I don't know, 15 minutes to half an hour to go. So it said if it's cooking too fast to tint it with foil. cheated and stuck my thermometer in the oven. Let's get you warmed up real quick. One sixty four. Oh, rising. Look pretty good. In the middle there, one sixty seven. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, buddy. She's got a good glaze on her. Tasty. Mmm. Alright. I like that. Let's go figure out how to cut it up. <coughs> Need a little spice to it. Turkey. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
I like my first turkey out there. It's midnight, by the way. 12.30, top now. Mmm, that's good. Still moist, too. I'm just making the gravy over here that it came with. Heat up to a boil and it thickens up on its own or something. It's just burning to the bottom of the pan. Pot. All right, it was a success. Try a little bit of that glaze too. Little piece of skin. It's good. Alright, good. I like it.